Hey guys, this is Ghostbit Miner coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. So today guys, I got two new packages. I got one and two. So we're going to open these packages up to see what they are. Again, like I said, these are GPUs. We're going to see how well they perform on my new mining rig that only has one GPU on it so far. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see what's in the box, guys. Brand new, just got delivered about five minutes ago. And sorry if it's a little loud in here, but this is a mining world, so we're mining Bitcoin. I'm just kidding, we're mining Zcash. Um, so let's see what we got. So the first one right here, we got a GTX 1070 for the win edition, and it's a 1060. Not bad, this is from EVGA. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make a comparison video to see how a For The Win Edition compares to the card I have on there so far, which is a super, super clocked edition from EVGA, which is running at 340 solutions a second. So we'll check that out also after we unbox this bad boy right here. And keep in mind, that one was, let me see. The For The One Edition from EVGA, this card was $359, uh, brand new, comes with a three year warranty from EVGA, not so, not too bad. And right now they're selling on the second hand market on uh, OfferUp and on Craigslist for about $450, so that's still pretty good. And this one comes with a warranty, so let's open this next box up real fast. Never cut towards yourself, but I just did. Let's see. So on the second one, we got a super, super clocked edition. So another super, super clocked. So the only difference between the one in my hand right here and the one up here is the box. This is actually not from the B product line. Uh, let's see the difference. The one I have running was 250. And this one, was 359 so a $100 difference just because of the box. Interesting, not bad. So yeah, I spent a total of, uh, let's say $700. Make, let's make it $700, a little higher for two cards. Um, like I was saying on one of my earlier videos that the Super Super Clock Edition, the ROI is about eight months right now and the current uh, Zcash rate of $380 per coin. So we're gonna see if we can meet that today, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox both of these. We're gonna do a comparison again versus the For The One Edition and the Super Super Clock one I have on there. So we're gonna see if there's a comparison between this Super Super Clock Edition and the B Product Line Super Super Clock Edition. And we'll see if there's any difference at all. Because again, you save $100 if you just wait for that B Product Line. Uh, which I think is awesome. You, so you get a one-year warranty compared to a three-year, but again, if you're mining Zcash, your card might go up within that one year anyway, so it'll be fine. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. Let's check this out. Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at this For The Win Edition. I just took the main plastic off, so let's open it up. Let's see what comes in this box. Again, this is always fun getting these cards. Because they're, they're, you know, people think they're hard to find. So most people think they're hard to find. But for me, what I do is I put a notification on EVGA for the cards I want. And normally they show up about once a month to twice a month. Um, but again, they go pretty fast. So you have to have your card ready to buy these. So this one was $350. So let's check it out. I just opened up the, the seal right here. I always love doing this. Brand new. Nothing's better than a brand new GPU, guys. Beautiful. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. I do like these uh, posters. They're up all over the room. Okay, another one of these. These are already on the wall. Uh, I'll save this one. Because again, if you do keep all the things that come with your GPU, let's say the market crashes, you can always sell it back for a little bit better profit. So the stickers, we got... This one's pretty cool. It's a sleeve. You can't really see it in there, but it's a sleeve cable. That's pretty cool. Uh, the, man the, the manual right here, the driver, and again, it looks like this the uh, factory warranty information. So I'll put that here. 
so far the for the win edition doesn't look too much different uh, but let's open it up and let's check oh man guys this is nice these cards are always hard to pull out of here oh that was actually easier than i thought so i'm gonna put this aside So this is the GTX 1060 for the one edition from EVGA. Um, it has this, still the ACX 3.0 cooler system with the fan on there. I'm not too sure if it has upgraded LEDs or not. But we'll go ahead and take a look at this shortly. Let's go ahead and unbox the other Super Super Clock Edition and let's see what we got in that box as well. Hey guys, so we're going to go ahead and unbox the Super Super Clock Edition uh, from EVGA. This is a 1060 6 gig card. Um, just like I was stating before in the beginning of the video, uh, I already have one of these cards running on my mining rig and it's making 340 solutions a second mining Zcash. That in return is about $1.48 on today's market. So let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. Let's see what we got guys. It's always fun opening these seals. Again, today's a good day. We're doing two unboxing videos, and we're also going to compare the For the Win Edition to the Super Super Clock Edition. I want to see which one makes more solutions a second. They're the same price, so you know it's always good to compare. So same thing. Let's see, same exact uh, poster like we have on the walls. So nothing new. I'm going to go ahead and save this just in case I'm going to sell everything. Again, same thing, user manual, um, drivers, oh that's, hey, I didn't see this in my last one, that's pretty cool. I'm trying to see if it can focus, there we go, look at that guys, it's an EVGA badge, that's so cool, if I was making a gaming rig, I would definitely want to keep this, that's awesome. I might even use this for my cell phone. We're gonna throw that right there. I have, maybe it, they're in all of them, I just haven't opened the manual up. Uh, same idea, drivers, all that good stuff. And this is also a sleeve cable. Not bad. So let's open this bad boy up again. They look almost identical to the For The Win edition. I don't see too much difference. Um, again, it's always kinda hard to pull these guys out of here. There we go, I guess I got used to it already. Again, no difference at all. Um, ACX 3.0 uh, cooler with fan, uh, 1060 EVGA. No difference whatsoever. So let's go ahead and put the For the Win Edition on this mining rig, and let's compare it to the old Super Super Clock Edition that's already running on there, guys. Let's see which one will make more Okay guys, so the uh, riser we're going to be using today is actually the one I wanted to use from the very beginning. This is the version 9 right here. This is the one I've been always wanting to use. The cool thing about this one is you have the option to use so many different power options to power this uh, PCIe ri uh, riser up. So it actually helps out a lot with the uh, longevity of the the riser itself so nothing will really catch on fire and plus this one comes with uh, two LED indicators I like the way they look at night and again it lets you know that your riser is functioning properly so let's go ahead and hook this up and put that for the one edition on there okay guys so what I like to do before doing anything is I like to make sure that one uh, that I have this card in a pretty spaced out position. Let's go to take a look. Make sure everything gets on there perfectly. I think that's perfect right there. So now I'm going to use some zip ties. I'm going to zip down the PCIe riser to my shelving unit, aka my mining frame. On the back of these little risers, there's a uh, plastic. But again, the whole uh, mining frame is actually non-conductive with a uh, non-conductive plastic epoxy uh, over it, so it's not metal to metal. Um, so it's non-conductive. Well, I always get comments in my 
always get comments about that, hey, you're going to blow up your GPUs and your motherboard. No, I've been running this for a long time, it's not productive. No, everything's fine, guys. Thank you for caring, but no. Um, so let's go ahead and zip down this PCIe riser. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a, state, a SATA um, input to power it up on the back. And normally what I do is normally when you get a power supply, you'll have three SATA outputs per wire. And I like to only use two because what happens is you convert, you're drawing too much power from that one cable and you end up burning out that cable itself. So normally I just run about two uh, risers off of one cable. And you can see right here that there's two more left. Okay. They're only going to use one, and the other one is going to be there because again, this draws too much power, and you don't want to burn anything out, especially your GPUs in this type of GPU drought. I mean, on average, I can get about two GPUs a month, and that's pretty good. So I'm going to try to rip off this back part so I can get in there and tie this down. Oh, this one's hard. There we go. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Perfect, so I'm going to tie it down, then I'm going to cut off these little tips, and I'll go to put the GPU on there, and we'll power it up. Okay guys, so the card is on there, and on further investigation, you can. there's a lot of difference in this version 9 compared to the version 6. As you can see right there, the SATA input is actually directly to the riser. There's no um, adapters. When you look at the older version, the version 6, which you can see the version number right there, version 6. And this one's a version 9S. Let's see if we can get that. So the version 9S, um, there's a actual adapter, you see that yellow thing right there going into the, it's a 6 pin adapter to a SATA. So there's an adapter, whenever there's an adapter, there's always a more likelihood of um, actually less power draw and also um, a risk of fire or melting down the card. So this is a super super clocked edition and the for the win edition. After I put the other card on, I'm going to install the box fan behind it. So now what you want to do is you want to put your your 1X PCIe into any one of these slots. It can be a 1X or a 16X, it doesn't matter. We don't need all the bandwidth for mining, uh, for mining that you do for um, uh, gaming. So let's go ahead and look into that. You're going to put that right there. I like to go in order, one, two, three, you know, there, there's six of them, and then and eventually I'll use the M.2 adapter to PCIe. So I'm going to go ahead and turn back on the power. I'm going to go back in and plug it back in here. And before it was $14. Let's go ahead and look at that right now. It was $14.40 a month to run one card. Let's see how much it's going to go up to run two. So we have our power back on. Let's go ahead and hit our button. Exciting. Let's see it, guys. So it turned on right away. Those are the two LEDs I was talking about on the version 9. Not available on the version 6, but if you come over here and look at my other rig, I'm using version 7s, the blue ones. And the uh, there's one blue LED on these. But again, they also have the adapter to the SATA to a six pin. So a little more, um, like I was saying, risk of fire and loss of a, uh, more risk of drawing less power with that adapter. So with this one, it takes a while to boot up because it just put a new card on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a overclock on this card and we'll compare with the same overclock, which one's going to be making more on Zcash? Okay guys, so I got the card on there. So what I like to do to see the cards actually reading on this 
uh, minor, I guess I go right here, and I go to device manager. Device manager, double click that. And keep in mind we're running off a hard drive. So let's go ahead and take a look. And again, that wind is from the other mining rig. So you're going to go to display adapters. And there it is, the two uh, 1066 gigs. So let's go ahead and uh, put a... Let's go ahead and go to afterburner and put an overclock on this. And I'll do a video later on to show you how I overclock. Again, we're just doing a comparison, so I'm not going to go into detail. Okay guys, so I have the afterclock, the same on both. I'm just going to go and show you that. So that's it for the win edition. And this is the super super clocked edition. So let's go to Zcash and open up this miner. Let's see what we're getting. So GPU 0 is the for the win edition. And ZPU, CPU 1 is going to be... This is going to be the super super clocked. So let's go ahead and let it do its thing. And the thing about this is I am running the VGA off the super super clocked. So that might actually kind of make a difference on our results. So one's reading 340, one's reading 332. Again, what I'm thinking that's going to be caused by is the VGA. So, I'll go ahead and put the VGA in the For the Win Edition right now and see if there is a difference. Okay, as you can see right there, I plugged myself into the For the Win Edition. Um, we're going to see if there is a difference, which I think there is. For some reason, on this mining rig compared to the i5 um, running over there, um, the Pentium is not as strong, of course, it's an i5 versus a Pentium, it's not as strong at actually computing stuff onto the screen, so I think the GPUs take the grunt of the work um, of the calculations. So again, um, GPU 0 is still running at 340. Uh, the Super Super Clock is running at 325, which is a low. Normally it runs about 340 also. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit and I'll come back to that. So right here, we're looking at the Super Super Clock Edition, not plugged into the VGA, and the For the Win plugged into the VGA, with the box fan running behind it, just cooling off these cards. Um, it cooled it down a little bit a little while ago, the Super Super Clock Edition, which is GP1, was well, at 75 degrees Celsius. So it cooled it down dramatically, and um, again, I'll probably turn on the AC right now, because it is pretty hot in this room, because this other mining rig is uh, making some money back there, but anyways guys, so as you see right there um, Let's look at the higher number. So we're looking at 336 versus 324 and I'll let that sit for a while But again, it looks like the for the win edition is taking the win on this one um, Anyways guys, please leave your um, comments below if you do have a for the win edition and a super super clock edition so you can put your hash rates down there so we can get compile enough information to make this valid i still don't think this is as valid as it could be i might actually let it run for 24 hours and then check again in the morning via team viewer and not the vga connection anyways guys uh please like subscribe and share so you can get more videos like this i'll see y'all soon bye guys